Mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello, everybody, troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another day full of tea. Girl, it is Thursday. The weekend is almost here, and we need to keep talking about all the tea that keeps happening. And now we need to talk about the Real Housewife of Atlanta. Who is excited for the Real Housewife of Atlanta? Because it's coming May 1st. I'm very excited about this season. Um... Uh, because I feel honestly that they are going to bring it. I think that they are going to be like, no one is going to be taking our crown, you know, and they are ready to do what it needs to be done uh, to reclaim that number one spot that Atlanta has always have. And that's always good. So... We need to talk a little bit about that. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. If you are new here and you want to join the Beverly Troops, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. We are on our way to 30K. So if you want to join the family, you know what to do. And let's talk about this mess. Girl. Okay. So as I was saying, these girls in Atlanta, well, they are not playing. Uh, after Nini Leaks left, I mean, there is no way that we cannot say that she left a huge, huge void on Atlanta, okay? Not that the other girls are not important, because Atlanta is one of those shows that definitely the ensemble works completely, you know, and they know what they're doing, and almost every single one of them, with some exceptions in some seasons here and there, they were actually, they know how to do reality TV, right? So they know how to bring great seasons, and they always show with amazing uh, ratings, right? But Mimi Leaks played a huge part in that, you know? She gave us storylines, she gave us one-liners, she gave us uh, memes, she gave us everything, you know? So when she left, well, when she was was made left, you know, um, you can. You, it, it was like whoa. You can, you could feel the difference, you know. And uh, bringing Drew Sidora and Latoya last season, it didn't make them any favors. Okay, now don't get me wrong. I do like Drew Sidora. I think she actually understands the assignment, you know. And I think that she is going to be bringing a lot more on her second season. Last season, what I'm saying is that Drusy Dora and Latoya were not enough to fill the void that was Nini Leaks. You know, it's just, it was very big. Plus, we got COVID. Plus, you know, uh, we couldn't travel or do all the things that, you know, they usually do. So, it, it, it was definitely different. But this season, they are not playing and they are, they, they are ready to take that crown back, okay? And they're going, so this is a piece of the tea. They're going so far to, uh, have you seen the picture of that they are promoting everywhere, which is all of the ladies with the pitch in the back, you know, and like they're good, they look really, really, really good. Well, that's not a marketing or PR coming from Bravo at all, okay? So all of that was actually founded and made by the girls themselves okay so according hey hey guy okay according to anthony dominic this is what they're gonna say a lot of people are asking me about the real house gift of atlanta promotion it's true that the women founded this themselves bravo had nothing to do with it in fact bravo had no clue they were doing it the ladies felt they needed to make to take marketing and PR into their own hands for the upcoming season. Marlo canceled last minute. That's why she's not in the video promo, but she was photoshopped into the photo. The ladies felt other franchises like the Real House of Beverly Hills get new promos and photos and theirs are refreshed every three to four years. And that's why Real Housewives of Atlanta is a stays top tier. 
Also, Marlo is the only housewife who posted the picture with the gray background on Instagram. All the women agreed the pitch was the one that they wanted uh, out there. And there was retouching done with it. Marlo did it to spite, to spite a certain housewife. The ladies of the Real Houses of Atlanta also shoot their own self-founded promo. It's coming soon. You'll still get the Bravo one. That, that it is all videos of the returning ladies and new videos for the new ladies. Again, took it into their own hands. I love these ladies. Okay. So, I think it's amazing. You know, I think that at the end of the day, you know, these shows becomes their lives, you know, and these shows is who they are and they need to be successful for them to keep bringing coins, you know, and if Bravo is not going to do anything about it, I'm, I'm just thinking it's not like they're poor. You know, I will be, it's not like this costs millions of dollars, you know, so, and all of them have a lot of money, so it's like, okay, just do it, you know, just uh, pay for it and put it out there and teach Bravo a lesson of this is how it needs to be done. Now, is Bravo going to be happy? Probably not at the beginning, you know, it's going to be very like, oh, so you're trying to do this to me, to us, you know, but once they see that it worked and that everyone was praising them so much. I'm pretty sure that Bravo is not going to say absolutely anything, you know, because they're the one on the wrong, you know, they're the one doing that should be doing this. I feel, and especially with the, with the returning of Miami on Peacock and the changes and how praised it was by the public, you know, I feel that the, what we, the viewers, are asking for is changes, you know? It's modern looks. is bring our housewife that we love, but it is 2022, okay? The old formulas doesn't work anymore, you know? We need new stuff. We need new promos. We need new uh, colors. We need new videos. We need new producers. We need new... Um, newer storylines, you know, so I'm applauding these ladies for taking actions or then on their own hands, you know, they were like, we are not going to let ourselves go down. So now the question is, is the season going to live up to the expectations? Okay. It's going to be this another season without Nini, you know, and well, Nini's never going to come back. And we have, you know, Candy, Kenya, Sheree, um, Marlo, Drew, and um, the new one, Senia, I think is the name. So, um, I'm just hoping they're really, really going to bring it. And that they're going to, you know, shut it down and be like, this is why we are queens. This is why Atlanta has always been number one. So, let's wait and see. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.